Today, we're going to take a look at the incredibly stupid decision that saw a bright darts talent banned from the PDC for four years, with many fans feeling like it should have been longer. Brad Phillips is an English player from Harlow who is now 20. He first made a name for himself in 2018, where he won the first JDC event of the year in Dorchester. Brad also managed to win the second event of that year, which took place in Worcester, in the following month. After winning his first round game at the next event, his winning run came to an end in the last 32, where he lost 3-1. However, he managed to bounce back from this setback and won the fourth event of the year, which took place in Benfleet, taking his third title. He missed the next event before failing to reach the final at the last three events. Brad was the only player to win multiple JDC Tour titles that year and earn the spot as a JDC All-Star, allowing him to practice with pro players. He also finished the year as the third place player on the England Youth Grand Prix Order of Merit. In September of that year, he managed to win the England Darts Organisation's England Match Play where he beat Mitchell McCarthy 4-1 in the final. He rounded the year off with another title when he won the JDC European Open in Bristol. 2019 saw him make his PDC debut as he competed on the development tour. After missing the first four events, he attended the next block of four, where after winning just one game across his first three events, he managed to win three in a row in the eighth event of the year. However, he didn't average over 75 that day and only had two averages over that mark in his first four events. His standard improved in the next block of four, where only one of his averages was below that mark, but he didn't make it past the last 64 of any of the events. He didn't appear in the next four events, but returned in the final four, where despite being inconsistent, he had two good runs, one which saw him reach his first quarter final on the final event of the season. He finished the year 70th on the order of merit and made it to the World Youth Championship, where he lost 5-3 to James Beaton and 5-1 to Shane McGurk, meaning that he was eliminated in the group stage. In that year, he was also part of the England teams that won the Boys British Internationals as well as both the overall and Boys Pairs titles at the WDF World Cup in Romania. He also continued to play in the JDC, where despite failing to win a title, he finished 7th on the order of merit, which due to his age, was high enough to earn a PDPA scholarship, helping him to continue to play on the development tour in 2020. His 2020 began with a trip to Q School for the first time. Across the four days, he never averaged above 83 and only managed to win two games, meaning he failed to gain a card. Ahead of the start of his development tour campaign, it was announced that he had signed with Mission Darts. He played in all 10 development tour events in 2020, but only had one average over 84. He failed to make it past the last 16 of any of the events and only reached that stage once. He managed to qualify for the World Youth Championship again, where he only won one leg across his two games and went out in the group stage again. He then didn't play in the PDC for almost a year until the start of the 2021 Challenge Tour, which was held in two blocks of six events. The first of these blocks saw the incident which led him to be banned from the PDC. At this time, COVID-19 was still a big issue and players had to use lateral flow tests to show that they were negative to play. In the first five events, he lost his first game and had averages in the mid-50s, 60s, 70s and 80s. The start of the sixth and final event of that block was initially delayed by 90 minutes due to a fire alarm which forced the players to have to wait outside in the car park. The event eventually got underway but another issue became apparent as more players than normal began to withdraw from their games. Brad Phillips was one of them. A few other players, including Conan Whitehead, Joe Davis and Scott Marsh, who had all won their first round games, also withdrew. It was reported that a player had tested positive for Covid, leading him and some contacts to be removed from their games. Rumours began to swirl on social media and it became clear that Brad Phillips was the player that had tested positive, but there was more to come out. Initially, the PDC announced that a player who had provided the negative test on arrival to the event had been retested and tested positive, leading to him and his close contacts being removed from the event. On the following morning, 
some shocking details were reported. It was stated that Phillips had known he was positive two weeks before the event, but that he was still practicing with another player at the time. Despite still being positive on two tests he took on the day of the event, Brad was driven to the tournaments by his father. He managed to enter the tournaments by submitting a negative test result that he had produced by tampering with a test and running tap water on it. Several Challenge Shore players stated that during the fire alarm, a friend of Brad's had boasted about the situation. Word of this got to the PDC and they decided to remove Brad and the other players. A statement from the management of Davis, Marsh and Whitehead was released. They backed up the claims about the fake test and stated that they had reported the player to the PDC and PDPA. The statement also revealed that Marsh and Whitehead were mid-game when they were asked to leave whilst Davis was warming up for his board final. They announced that all three of these players later returned negative tests. However, due to having to isolate, all three of these players were forced to miss the Euro qualifiers and Conan missed out on playing in the Moda Super Series Champions Week the following week, which he had worked hard to qualify for and where he could have had a chance to win £5,000. Conan released his own statement, where he said the contact with the player had been unknowing. He sounded devastated after missing out on Champions Week. Many players, managers and fans reacted furiously on social media and called for a large punishment with some even feeling that the police should have got involved or legal proceedings should have been looked at. Before we take a look at the DRA investigation into Brad, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe and turn on notifications as it really helps the channel out and currently just 11% of my watch time comes from subscribers. Phillips didn't play in another PDC event for the rest of 2021 and he has still not appeared in one since. When the DRA released their list of cases for 2021, the reason for this became apparent. It showed that a month after the incident, a hearing took place as it was alleged that Phillips had broken DRA rules 3.1 and 3.7 which state that players cannot commit acts that bring the sport into disrepute and that players must follow the instructions of tournament officials. It was alleged that Phillips had breached COVID policy, produced a fake test result and infected three members of PDC staff. He was found guilty and given a suspension from DRA sanctioned events, which include all PDC events, until the 14th of February 2025, which is just over three and a half years. This ban was deserved and I for one feel it should have been even longer. Sure, Brad is a young player, but his actions were reckless and put others in danger and made them miss out on potential earnings which could have been significant in Conan's case. Let me know what you think about the decision in the comment section below.